This is Dakota with Old Pecan Homestead, and we're going to be working on building some fence today. Uh, tractor actually started up really great after doing some service on it. Had some hiccups. I got the I got the roll wire loaded up in the tractor, and uh, we're gonna get over there and drop it off. These cows are belly aching. These cows really want to eat. Taylor's gonna go take care of the puppies and I'm gonna get the cows fed. It's a lot colder today than, than we were expecting. It was supposed to be in the mid to upper 50s and I bet you it ain't over 46 degrees right now. But uh, we'll get you some footage of us taking down the barbed wire and doing some dirt work today and hopefully tomorrow we can get that fence stretched. Every time Shayla goes to feed puppies, Burris wants to go along because she might drop some feed. Watch out, Rip. Rip. Watch out, boy. Yeah, sit over there, out of the way. All right guys, so we gotta roll up all this barbed wire and uh, once we get all that rolled up, I can start the dirt work and uh, I'll go show you why, why we gotta do dirt work. The reason I've gotta do a little dirt work is when you get to walking down this fence line, the leaves over the years have kind of built up against the bottom of the barbed wire fence and the grass has died and sorry I got the hiccups but uh, the uh, grass has died like right here in the winter time it goes dormant and dies and kind of builds up right here against the fence and I'll come down here this this tree's gonna have to go unfortunately I mean it is a cedar but we're this is runoff for the pond that runs around here and whenever it rains really good there will actually be a pretty good I mean this whole this whole ditch right here will be full of water uh, the water runoff starts at the very back of our property back there is actually a little uh, silt pond but um, let's see let's get over here where it's the worst like right here the dirt is mounted up probably from right there there goes a rabbit. Just sitting right there. I didn't even notice him. Be interesting if I see him on the video before he took off. But uh, the the dirt mounds up probably a good foot and a half from this side and probably a foot from that side. So basically, I'm just going to come in, see if I can't back drag it and kind of bring it over here to where the ground's lower and see if I can't get it pretty smooth that way. Uh, hopefully, we can do all that without having to having to do anything different with our t-posts i don't want to have to pull them but uh that's the idea of needing the tractor man this is going to be a lot of work i need to get started just cutting down these little scrub oaks and stuff is going to be a, enough of a task um but i may just see if i can chop them with the bucket but probably not they'll probably just uproot a little Watching me very carefully take this fence down.
So the tractor had some issues and he was looking at it and we think it was a fuel pump and he was going to replace it anyway. And um, so we ran to town real quick to go get a fuel pump and he is replacing that right now. And we will get the fence finished tomorrow. So yeah, we still gotta dig around the, the H post. Now we gotta dig around these these corner posts, just around the bottoms. Yes, we need to come in for the streets.
Well, we got the fence good enough that we could let the let the cows out. It's not 100%, but uh, we've got it good enough for that. I'm gonna walk over here and get my chainsaw before I go back to the house. But we got the cows out and they are very happy to be able to come down here and drink from their pond. Walk up here and see if I can't get a video of them drinking. Bull's over there scratching his neck on the tree. That little pig Shayla brought home, we really don't know what kind of pig it is, but it just thinks it's a cow. Just follows them around. Follows the cows everywhere they go. But Black Jack Dozer and the bull are all enjoying a drink. Not sure where the other two are. Oh, there comes one of them up there in the woods. Oh, there's the other one. Over there, scratching. That was the one that was said to have been bred, confirmed to bred when we bought them at the auction. She's just over there scratching away too. That pole was really crooked because no matter where I went right in that area, I just, I hit rocks and rocks and rocks and it started to go in, it went in crooked and I just said the heck with it. We can actually, we can probably get away. It doesn't even, it's not even attached to the post yet. Probably what we'll do is we'll pull it over straight before we attach it to the post.